This is some crazy last minute in the moment type thing. Getting a place to stay in the Keys last minute in the Florida Keys is like not heard of. And the this trip is a last minute thing. For those of you who've been following, I kind of like in the moment surrendered, left my place. Uh, a lot of you reached out and helped me financially through readings and that sort of thing. And I, I took off. I, I left the apartment last minute barely gave the landlord any notice and and came down here and I didn't want to come down to the Keys. I wanted to go west to Arizona, to California, all that because that's like my that's my home. That's where I feel the most at home and the most free. And the Keys are heavily populated. Uh, there's not a lot of free space. The East Coast in general, you can't find free camping. You can't just really park anywhere. Uh, there's not a lot of public land and so I was like how am I gonna make this work I don't like stealth camping because it makes me nervous uh, and so I have spots that I can find here and there and then I was gonna go and stay in the swamp well last minute of course I first of all I always travel on retrograde and I know things change left and right for me, but for some reason I'm really good and I have my best experiences and stuff when I'm traveling during retrograde. And so we're doing this trip essentially to do ocean work and work with the ocean beings. And I go, okay, well, I don't understand this because I'm supposed to stay by the ocean, but I can't stay by the ocean. I don't have anywhere to stay by the ocean where I need to be, where they're telling me to go, because you can't do that down in that stretch, three, three, four hour stretch of islands down there. And I looked before, there was no camping. Camping was super expensive. Places want over $100 a night if they're even available to to pitch a tent. Uh, and it's it's like, there's no way I'm, I'm doing that. I, I, I am very adverse to paying camping fees to begin with. I think nature should be free. And the whole idea of people charging for campsites is like, just, I, I can't understand it, which is why I like the West so much, because you can camp for free out there. And so I come down here and my guides are just like, just go down there. I go through the Everglades area in every access road that I wanted to take, the places I had researched that said they had hiking trails and you could go farther in and all this, all fenced off, all closed like the just in, in all for for statements of your safety and, and this sort of thing which always makes me suspicious even when they're using like for the safety of you and the wildlife and this and that and i'm like okay well that's just suspicious to me because every time i've crossed one of those fences i found stuff that doesn't match up to the reason they're they're saying so i was like okay well i'm being pushed to the Keys. Uh, I had to drive all the way to Miami. I uh, wasn't expecting it. Found a rest, worked at a Panera, found a rest stop and slept at the rest stop, which was awesome because it's like, um, I, it's, just, it's just a nice, nice pit stop and was super cheap toll to get here, like 80 cents or something. So it didn't even cost me anything. I didn't have to like go stealth camp in a neighborhood or anything, have restrooms, all that. But to, to my point, the keys do not have <laughs> last minute places and i woke up this morning and i go man i i'm just gonna drive down to the keys to key west today spend a little bit of time there or somewhere in the keys maybe not all the way to key west do my water ocean work turn around and start heading north and my guys were like no don't do that and I'm like, I'm, look, I'm not stealth camping in a place where everybody says it's aggressive. Like, those are the words almost every thing is using is aggressively enforced. So I end up going, okay. And I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? And they go, start looking online again. And I go, okay. So I start looking online and I'm like, what are we doing? And they go, look at the state parks and that sort of thing. So, and if you see me looking, there's a security guard walking by my car right now, which is part of why I like this rest stop, but it also makes me nervous because I, they're like watching the cars and stuff. <laughs> so you're like, why are they, why are they watching me? Uh, but it's nice because I'm in Miami and there's security patrolling 
the rest area so you know it's like safe and secure and you're not in a bad neighborhood or gonna have any issues um because i don't like camping in the city i mean anybody who's who's like me energetically is like we just don't like to be around people and cars and, and all that and so i look online and there's spots open in the coral reef campground single night spots there's like three of them now I'm on a, I am on a budget and I I did not budget spending money at a campground at all but they're like 30 bucks a spot and they're the perfect timing and they they it's like they're open this morning I go what the <laughs> so I'm like okay well this is technically outside my budget but it's only thirty dollars a night not like 100 150 200 some of the pricing crazy pricing they were showing me and it opened up this morning it like that stuff wasn't there that that was like super cheap compared to to what i was seeing online and especially like most of its private campgrounds so they're charging crazy rates for throwing a tent up and so i will be camping in the keys for two nights and doing the marine work you know, working with the mer well, I, I really don't know what's coming. I probably mermaids and ocean beings and regular natural stuff. But here's here's the really cool thing. At the end, when I booked the site, my car my car has been shut. I opened the door once to go out to the restroom, once more to come back into it. Got in. There has been no in there have been no insects in my car. None absolutely none there was nothing in the car nothing hopping around nothing showing itself and i had been looking at this camp these campsites trying to book them and figure out the dates for like 15 20 minutes trying to figure out if i wanted to, do, to actually do it and, and could do it financially and all that uh, even though it's not a lot it's like I, I am on a budget and so i booked the site and i go okay I'm doing this I'm staying I'm camping in at the Keys and it's perfect because I can spend my time at the north and then just drive down on Thursday to like Key West and then start driving home late at night or not home but north late at night and not worry about it and come back to this this rest stop and then hop hop again the next day and a grasshopper a bright green grasshopper that's not a normal grasshopper I forget what they're called but they're they're like any most people would call them grasshoppers but they're actually technically not they've got these like really big lit they're really small they've got really small bodies really big legs lands on me and is like hey bro <laughs> and looks at me and now grasshoppers are very lucky very abundant signs when i when i see them i actually have a set of light beings around me who present in these they're balls of light but they present as enormous grasshoppers and they do that because of their energy of abundance and energy of luck and and that sort of thing so this grasshopper lands on me and i'm just like where the hell did you come from <laughs> the car has been shut for 15 minutes and there's been nothing and then he's just he's on me and then he's jumping up and down on me going all about and I open the door and he like doesn't want to go out right away and then all of a sudden he jumps out and goes and I'm like okay this part of the journey is going to be fun I don't know what just happened but somehow I got two two nights stay I, and I had to piece it out so it's like one night stay on one spot and another night stay in another spot in the same campground but it's two nights total and I'm like this is perfect like i don't know how i did this but i got camping in key west and that is true in the moment do you need it now type of thing i didn't need it two weeks ago when i was looking or a week ago i needed it today so it showed up today and gave me the ability to book it today i mean that's that's true like abundance what in the moment having what you need type of thing to do whatever it is you need to do and for me i need to do work down there i know that and i was like how am i going to do work down there if i can't spend the night 
if I have to drive three hours down or four hours down from here, four hours back up. And now I can.